Hello and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. We're sitting down for an opposition preview ahead of Rovers' trip to Hull City on Friday night and we're joined by Ant from the Hull and Back podcast to discuss Hull and what they'll bring on Friday. Ant, thank you for joining us back on the channel. How are we? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Other than the football, it's, uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so we'll just get into it. So obviously Rovers played Hull earlier in the season. How's the season been since then for Hull? It's... Over the course of the 24 games we've played, it's it's genuinely been a success. We're seventh place, level and points in the playoffs at this point. So it was a stage, I think, at the beginning of the season, probably the most optimistic of us thought we could be in. But realistically, we expected to be at least a top 10 side. So we're kind of doing, you know, we're, we're, we're punching above where we kind of expected to be. But th there's, there's also a little sense of frustration in there because if it hadn't been for injuries at key moments of the season and you know, some of our front line being um, wasteful with chances in games and, and sloppy defensive errors would probably be higher. So it's one of those where we're seventh and we probably could have been looking at this uh, uh, where we should have been, you know, at least fifth, fourth, something like that. So over, over the course of the season, largely successful, but the, the, there's definite parts of the um, the, the setup and, and the, the tactical system that we kind of need to iron out, I think, if we want to properly challenge the top six. But we'll have to see what January brings. Yeah, and of course, we'll have Tyler Morton on one. He spent last year at Rovers, really divided opinion in the Rovers fan base. I think if in this summer you'd have asked half at Rovers fans, he'd tell you really good signing. Half he wouldn't. How's he been this season? Fantastic. One of our best players. Um, I, I don't know if it's, you know, the system that Rosinia plays, it suits him down to a T, but he's just not had a bad game for us. He is, since coming into the side, he's been undroppable. We play him alongside Sari, um, who, the, you know, both very similar players. They're both tidy in possession. They want to sit deep, try, uh, collect the ball and take it forwards. And his passing range is spectacular. You know, a couple of his assists have been brilliant. I mean, he's, he's one for us on two fan the other day um, against Cardiff um, was 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 outstanding. And that's what he brings to this side. And, you know, he got he got rewarded with England and 21s. Um, and he scored for them as well. He started adding goals to his game. I think we've tried to transform him more, to, more into a, Box to box midfielder, but he gives us that bit of, you know, youthful uh, dynamism alongside Sari, who's you know more older, and he, he just stays sat deep, whereas Morton will then push on and try and support the attack. So he's been absolutely crucial to the way we play, and I just think that he's one of those players who um, I think would be silly not to try and go for permanently because you know he's, he's he's still a really young player, and he's showing the maturity and um, a class about his game that you know any any side would would be happy to have that at this level of football. Yeah, definitely. So, other than Tyler Morton, who would we say are the players to watch? If you had to pick three out out of the squad, who are we going for? What's that, sorry? If you had to pick three players to be the ones to watch. Mm. Well, I would have said Phil Jean, but he's injured. So, that's that's a positive for you guys. Um, but Liam Delap, Tyler Morton and um, Ozan Tufan at the minute were probably our most informed players. Uh, Toothan's got three goals in four games. Um, the lap, you know, he's, he's got six goals for the season. Uh, and then, like I said, Morton kind of keeps us ticking in the middle. But it's, you know, with the lap, it's more about his goals and um, what he brings us in terms of, um, I mean, we're playing him out wide at the minute because of injuries and, and he's still just as effective out there, but he's better through the middle. Uh, but when he's on the wing, I mean, he's just a player on the turn. He's so frightening. Like when you receive the ball, his ability to just sort of spin and straight face the, the, the opposition's goal and run straight at the back four, you know, it's, it must be frightening for defenders. So, But if, if he could work on his finishing, he would be a top, top player at this level. And um, I feel like that's probably why we brought in Billy Sharp for January. I think, you know, that bit of guidance and, and um, you know, some pointers in training might, might help the lap take his game to the next level. Um, so yeah, I'd say Delap's probably our biggest threat. Uh, two fan is either a one out of ten or a ten out of ten. There's no middle with two fan. He's, he's, he's you know he's either on his game or he's not. So if he's on his game, he's unplayable. Um, and then like I said, Tyler Morton's just our sort of uh, metronome in the middle that keeps us going. So we'll look ahead to Friday night. How are you feeling about facing Rovers? Obviously, a side not in form. Do you fancy your chances? I fancy us against most teams at home this season. Um, we're not in the greatest form at the minute. Um, we've, uh, we've lost four of the last six, um, winning the other two. Um, I, 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 there was only really the, um, the the last game out, which was a poor performance. And, and But realistically, we're in the game all the time, even if we lose. And it's just individual errors or, you know, a bit of bad luck here, like a, a goalkeeping error or something like that that sent, seems to cost us games. And, and if we can sort of, like I said earlier, start converting some of the chances that we have 
um, then, then we'd be picking up more points than we have. But like you say, Blackburn are in poor form as well. Um, and with it being a home game, I, I feel like obviously um, Rosini will have, will have highlighted that Smodix is the player to try and nullify. And if you can nullify him, I feel like you nullify Blackburn at the minute. And um, hopefully our midfield can keep him quiet and we can just try and sort of press on and, and, and play the style that we know works best at home and, and keep that pressure on and come away with three points. So you mentioned that playing style. What is that style that Hull adopt? Because Rovers probably are better against sides that will have a lot of the ball. You know, mm. Huddersfield let us have the ball the other day and then just obliterated us on the counter-attack. So will Hull have more of the ball or will they leave Rovers to try and, you know, try and create something? Uh, we'll def- I think we'll definitely probably try and have more of the ball. That's where that's the style Rosinia goes for. We, we like to play out from the back, which is a bit of the issue at the minute because the goalkeeper, Ryan Alsop, who helps us do that, is out injured and Ingram's not very good at it. So if you can try and press us high into those uh, into those places where we're having to pass it back to Ingram, you could probably cause us a few issues. But if we, we like to invite the press. So we want, you, we want to pass it out from the back and then we want teams to press up on us and then we can then pop it over the top and exploit that space with the pace that we've got out wide. So we, we, we prefer teams to come on to us. If it's a side that comes and sits deep, we, we really struggle to break them down and create chances. Um, so I'm hoping for an open game. But yeah, we, we're definitely a side that's going to try and focus on on keeping the ball and, 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 and tiring the opposition out. I feel like we're slow starters usually as well. So we tend to start the game slowly. We, we normally go 1-0 down as well and then bring it back in the second half. So don't, don't be surprised to see yourselves go 1-0 up um, for us to bring it back because I think we've got the second or third most points won from losing positions this season as well. So they've, they've got character in them. And I, I wish we'd start games quicker and stop that <laughs> coming back, obviously, as you would as a fan. But um, no, that tends to be what we do. Um, but like you say, if you can if you can keep our midfield quiet, then, um, you know, you can cause us problems. I feel like in the last game, um, what they decided to do was instead of pressing really high, they just... Well, they basically went with a four-two-four and and blocked our route into the middle, and we really struggled to then pass it out from the back. So, I feel like um, you know, if 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 your managers looked at that and gone, yeah, maybe that's something we can try and do, um, and then we'll have to wait and see if Rosini's got a plan B because it, for the most part, we don't really tend to have a plan B. So, if you can nullify plan A, you might you might get some joy. Yeah, definitely. Fingers crossed from a Rovers side. Final question. Score prediction. What we're going for on Friday? Uh, I feel like a safe bet would be a draw at the minute. Um, I don't think both sides are, are lighting up um, you know, the sky at the minute. So, um, no, yeah, I'll go for it. I'll go for 1-1, I think. Well, man, I think we'd take that at the moment. We just need mm-hmm. a point from somewhere and I think we'd take a, definitely take a point. Hull, Ant, thank you very much. Jen, I just want to tell everyone where they can find the Hull and Back podcast. Yeah, no, thanks uh, Thanks for having me. Uh, you can find us on uh, YouTube. We do video content on there and then you can find us on all your normal uh, audio podcast providers like your Apple, your Spotify, things like that. Uh, and we can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Perfect. So I'll link everything down below. Thank you very much for coming on. Like I say, uh, all the best for the rest of the season once we get Friday out the way. But we'll have to see how we're over then 2023. Uh, thank you to everyone for watching. Of course, we'll have all the content from the game. Uh, hopefully we're reacting to a win but we've not done much of that this month so we'll see what happens but until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you soon